Hey everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at the FID mags and specifically how to disassemble and reassemble them and also how to load them. Because uh, if you've got some of these mags or you're planning to get some of these mags, obviously you want to know how to take it apart because like if it needs cleaning or maintenance or whatever, you want to know how to do that. And the cool thing about this is it's actually entirely toolless. You don't need any tools to do that. So that's, I always really appreciate that because like I don't bring a ton of tools to games with me. So if I need to take apart a mag while I'm out of field, like I'd rather it be toolless. Uh, but yeah, that being said, I'm just going to jump right into it. All right, so it's important to remember there's a very, very specific order that you have to do everything in. Like, it's not just everything's got to come off. It's got to come off in the right way, and it's got to go back together in the right way in order to make it, like, work the best. So you're going to start with this top clip right here. You can literally just slide it off. It's super easy. Then your next piece is this little back clip. Now, you can use a screwdriver to pry it out if you want, but you also don't really need to. If you use the edge like that and just pop it in there, and then boom comes off like that, so not hard at all. Then you've got your bottom clips, which again, I'm just gonna pull it out of frame and make it easy. You are just gonna slide them, slide them off the back like that. It takes a little bit more force, but essentially it's not that bad. And at this point, I'm just gonna move these out of the way. You wanna gently take apart your halves like this. Now you're gonna do whatever you gotta do, maybe clean it up, you know, like if anything needs replacing, whatever you do that. And then to put it back together, first we wanna make sure that this little guy is just seated right in there and it should stay put. You just wanna make sure it's in there, don't lose it. Then you wanna take your door and the spring and you're gonna actually guide it in. Now you wanna do this on the opposite side from this little clip. It doesn't really, if you put it in on this side, it's not gonna kinda of go together properly. So you wanna put it in on this side. Now that that's essentially sorta of being held in place, sorta. Of. If it's not perfect, it's okay. You can figure it out once you get the halves together. So now we put our halves back together. Trying not to. Now while you're pushing these halves together, you do have to pull down on the door a little bit just to get the little there we go. And you'll feel it as you're pushing down, you'll feel it like click into place. From this point, hold the two halves together because there's a bit of spring tension that wants to make them pop apart. And then you're gonna put your bottom plates back on. To put them back on, it's easier I have found to kind of like snap them on like that and then push them in as opposed to like trying to just push them in the whole way. Um, it just, I don't know, it just feels easier to do it that way, but they go on no problem. Now, now you're gonna to wanna to put your spring and follower in. So just hold the door open a bit to make it easier. Slide that bad boy in there. Now there's gonna be some little nubby guys on your follower. You wanna make sure these little like nubby wing things are facing the front of the round or like, you know, facing the front of your marker. So like that, when you're feeding them in, you wanna let the two halves at the top spread a bit just to let the little wings in. Now there's two channels for the little wings on the edge of the follower to go into. You wanna make sure they are sitting in the channel. They're all aligned properly and then squeeze it shut while you're holding it shut like that. Gonna put your top clip back on there like that. And then the last thing is you wanna put this back clip on and there's a little notch. That notch goes on the bottom of the back clip and then just sort of feed it on there. And we're done. And that's all you gotta do. Okay, so now all that's left is to load the thing. And to do that, you need this. This is the loading tool. So it's actually really, really easy. You're just gonna pull back on the little loading door until it uh, locks into place. Then you're gonna feed the loading tool all the way into the magazine until you get the handle right in there and pull it out and there you go it's latched in and that's all you got to do then you're just going to hit that little thing and your loading door closes and yeah you're loaded and good to go so that's it that's all there is to it it's actually like they're pretty easy to disassemble and reassemble loading is like super super easy you just need to have one of these to do it um but yeah so hope that was helpful for you guys and uh if there's any other questions or concerns you guys have about the FID mags, like do you wanna know more about them? Um, let us know in the comments and as always, thank you for watching.